Well, hey friends, it is one o'clock, one o'clock on the nose. Um, and I thought I would just pick up my camera and do a little vlogging. I don't know if I'm gonna just vlog for today or how long, but um, we're vlogging right now. So I'm in the kitchen with the kiddos. We are raising, <laughs> we're raising um, caterpillars to turn into butterflies for our homeschool. Um, and they are getting quite big. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and actually clean out their little container. They have some webs and things in there, so we're gonna um, um, clean it out. So we'll show you what we're working with here. Okay, so here they are. <laughs> So we had um, a really rough experience last year. We had thousands of caterpillars in our city. There was an infestation of a particular type of moth and, um, oh boy, we're getting a lot of webs here. So all you have to do is just use a Q-tip and clean out the webs. Oh, it's just like a like a spider web. Mm Off you go, little bugger. This little guy doesn't want to come off. Come on. Oh, you're a sticky bugger. I guess he really likes the Q-tip. No. <laughs> So last year we had an infestation of caterpillars, like thousands and thousands and thousands of caterpillars. Um, they were, I can't remember what kind they were, but they were a destructive kind of caterpillar. They just like decimated trees and bushes and things. Um, so we are a little squeamish around these ugly little things because we had such a bad experience last year. They were literally everywhere, everywhere. It was thousands. It was Sometimes so they were even in our house. Yeah, it was We really had gross. to do a caterpillar check, so once we got in, everyone would have to turn around and someone would look. And then you would touch the hair in case caterpillars. Yeah, it was gross. So I'm going to get the kiddos some lunch. I'm going to do the dishes. We're actually probably going to go to the greenhouse today and pick up... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the the um, giant gorilla looking thing. Oh, fun. Um, so we're probably going to get some plants for our garden and um, get that started planting. So that's a bit of our day. So I totally needed um, some oils in my diffuser. This diffuser is from Costco. Um, I picked it up a couple weeks ago. It's a hand-blown glass. It's um, a little hard to see but there is some like kind of variations in the glass it's so pretty it does have LED lights but um, I also just really needed um, some motivate oil going because oh boy I could not I'm, I just I'm not functioning today so this is where I kind of keep a lot of my oils um, I tend to keep a lot of them in here I also have some in my bedroom Colt's bedroom Aubrey's room the homeschool room um, basically anywhere we kind of use a diffuser but this is the main one um, that has a lot of stuff that I diffuse here in my kitchen so today I used a little bit of cheer some motivate this like works so well and I also did balance I'm not sure where balance is oh yeah balance and um, yeah so I just keep them in this thing the lid is like really super strong I can even just hold it by the bird and it goes right up here 
I got my dishes done and I'm just waiting for the kids to be done with their lunch dishes and then we're gonna head out to get some plants. Um, I also got a haircut yesterday. I tried to use hot rollers in my hair today hoping that I could get like some kind of volume and curl and just kind of like la 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 but it was way too fussy. I used to hot roller my hair all the time um, especially um, when it was short, it looked so cute. I used to get stopped all the time for um, people complimenting my hair, but the girl who used to cut it at that point moved away and I've never had a cut like that since, so it's never looked right. So anyways, I will probably just curl it normal tomorrow, but um, yeah, it's been like eight, nine, 10, 12 months since I've had a hair cut last, so it felt really good to get a lot of the dead, dead weight off. finished up at the nursery. That's always a lot more than I anticipate that it will be. So someday soon I would love to start from seed, but we really don't have a lot of space in our house. Um, so someday. But for now it's it's nice to get started planting. So we got a lot of herbs this year and I got the right tomatoes. Last year I got a lot of like beefsteak kind of tomatoes. Um, and while you can can those, um, you gotta reduce them down a lot. So um, I made more like tomato soup and froze it. This year I've got a lot of Romas. I got some San Marzanos. Um, we got a few peppers. Oh, my plants are all falling. It's so windy. Okay, y'all, we are home. It is quarter after six and I missed all of dinner prep because we've been out and about since 2.30. Um, so we came home and I put together these Nan bread pizzas for the kids. This is just Nan bread from Costco. It's the stuff right here. This is so good. I could eat the whole bag, but I'm not eating any of it. Um, and then I just have some mozzarella cheese and I had some pasta sauce in the fridge that I needed to use up. So it was a really busy afternoon and I didn't vlog very well at all because we were just kind of in and out of stores and to be perfectly honest, I'm afraid I'm gonna drop my camera. Um, we went to Costco and then we went to the library, we went to the bank, we went somewhere else. My husband went somewhere um, while we were at the library. It was just busy, so we're home now. Um, I'm just trying to get everybody fed. My husband has a meeting to go to tonight, so I've just made him sandwiches that he can uh, just take on the go, and I don't know what I'm doing for myself. I'm not really all that hungry, so I'm just gonna kind of focus on tidying up, I think. So food-wise at Costco, all we got were the nan breads, um, some lettuce, and we got uh, some organic strawberries. Um, these are our first strawberries of the season. I'm hoping that they're gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna slice them up for the kiddos. So my biggest tip for these is to, when you broil these, I stick them on low and set a timer. It's just gonna take a few minutes, like really just three or four minutes, um, but <laughs> set the timer so that you don't forget so that they don't overcook and burn.
little chef Colt is making lunch. I always love when he asks if he can make lunch. <laughs> um, so he is putting together some lunch for the kids, probably in himself. Um, I am going to head into my room. It is the following day. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. Um, it's a following day. Uh, yesterday, walking through the park. I thought we would go ahead and try and shoot a few more things today and share with you a little bit of our day. Um, one thing that I want to get done today is last weekend I got a new uh, duvet for my bed. I've never owned a duvet. Um, we've always had quilts that my mom has made on our bed. Or um, I actually had like, for the longest time we had like, um, just like a quilt from Home Sense. Um, but it's been 10 years since I've got new bedding. So last weekend I went to Ikea with my sisters. They came up and we um, met in the middle uh, in Ontario and we did some shopping and one of the places we went was Ikea and I got um, a new duvet. Hi! <laughs> um, and so I finally got it all washed up and put together um, and I'm going to clean my room. So I loosely follow the fly lady system. Um, I pretty much watch her videos every day. That's kind of what I do during my evening routine. Um, she does a Facebook Live every day and then she pushes it to YouTube. And I watch that while I'm doing my dishes and stuff. It's just super motivating for me. Um, I'm not very motivated by Sometimes cleaning. Sometimes I watch it. Yes, even Shane knows who the fly lady is. Um, <laughs> I don't know, this is probably bad, but Colt calls her Roz from Toys or Monsters Monsters Inc. He thinks she looks like Roz. He's like, Are you watching Roz? I'm like, No, it's the fly lady. <laughs> um and I'm just giving us raisins. Okay. So anyways, any hoops. Um oh my God. I don't even know what I'm saying. My kids are excited that the camera is out. Clearly it's been a while. I'm, I loosely follow her system, the fly lady system, um, and for the zones, we were in our bedroom just a couple weeks ago, and my room was like so spotless, but we were gone for a few days, and things just pile up because I hadn't been on it, because I hadn't been home. Everything just seems to accumulate once you're home um, from being away for a while. Um, so I've been kind of like trying to get back on schedule and my bedroom has just fallen apart. So I'm going to take time today and um, sweep it out really well, wipe things down, change the sheets. I don't know why that shut off. Um, ultimately what I want to do is switch out our nightstands. Aubrey has two in her room um, that I really want for our room because they're bigger. Um, and they were intended for us anyways, but sort of just through life, they were being used in her room. I also want to work on her room. I've never fully gotten Aubrey's room done. Um, I've had ideas, but things have never fully come to fruition. And the other thing is, is that... It's never. Never. Little homegirl back there likes her stuff, and she has big things, like a huge doll Barbie house and she's got tons of books and so we need to get um, uh, a bookcase for her and I have a bookcase but it needs painted and so sometimes just all of these things sort of accumulate into projects not being done and I'm hoping that today we can get in there and we can um, get things figured out and I need to switch out the kids clothes from fall winter to spring mm -hmm. summer um yeah so there's a lot to do today and i don't want to do any of it actually i do but i need to get a drink of water first because <laughs> my energy is wagging okay you guys go eat oh my gosh they're so excited you're on they're on yeah. camera and it, yeah. i'm filming it's a happy day so we've got this magnet here on the fridge this is from emily lay um i just wrote down our menu plan for the week. Um, tonight we were gonna have steak salad, and, or steak medallions, which I have in the freezer, and caprese salad. However, Shane's gonna be gone. Um, he's leaving for a few days. And last night we weren't home. So I'm gonna switch 
well, I'm actually just going to not do the steak medallions. We'll save that for when he's home because, um, again, it's in the freezer. But I think I'm going to do this meatball casserole. My kids love meatballs. I love meatballs. Um, I've got them already made up in the fr freezer. I showed you that video actually recently. And meatball casserole is super duper easy to do. Um, and then I'm going to make these buns. They're like a low carb bun. And we'll have some broccoli. So I think that's what we're going to do for dinner tonight. Um, one thing I just always do is I consult my meal plan. I use the Erin Condren Petite Meal Planner. Um, I've showed you that here on my channel before I walk through of that. Um, I use that, but this past weekend we weren't home and I didn't have my like normal planning session on a Sunday, so I didn't get my meal planner filled in and I didn't even work my my camera keeps shutting off because my memory card is full, so I have to like stop and delete things. I don't even remember what I was saying, but I think, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since I vlogged. Um, one thing that I do every day is I always think about what we're having for dinner. So that means I check my planner. Um, a lot of times I like to do this the night before so I can get whatever is maybe in the freezer pulled out. Um, but I always like to think what are we having for dinner? Um, it takes such stress off. And I like to have a few options that if our meal plan goes astray, like it kind of did this week, we were out and about a lot. Um, and so we just relied on some really quick kind of foods that we had uh, in the fridge that weren't necessarily even dinner foods. Um, so that, you know, I've always got something for us to eat and we're not scrambling. So all that to say, my big tip for you, in all of this is know what you're having in the morning so that when it comes to dinner time you're not scrambling and pulling your hair out and living life with your hair on fire all the hair analogies okay so here is my bedroom in all of its glory <laughs> actually it's not because I didn't touch the bed because I knew I was gonna be changing the sheets today um Ooh, it's just a stinking mess um, and our bedroom's really small. I can't remember if I've showed this on my channel before. Um, I know I've shared it on Instagram. But my bedroom is just really tiny. Here is the door. Here is our closet system. I can't get back any further and I'm literally up against the bed at this point. But this is from Ikea. This is laundry that needs to get out of here. Um, these are Hart's, uh, my maternity clothes, and I don't have storage for them, so they've been there for months. This is um, the closet without a closet system, and here is also a gun cabinet, and this is where all Shane's clothes are. They're just on like a metal um, shelf in here. We need a closet system in there, but it's not a priority right now. Um, I've got this. Uh, this is actually a real... Um, Apple la oh, husband of mine. Um, this is actually a real like Apple ladder. I've had this for years and years and years. Um, and she put that there to dry. I had the curtain shut, but the windows open because I was getting dressed. Um, anyways, I've got a pile of pillows and things that I was working on and the fan I usually take down. Anyways, it's just, it's a mess. So I'm not gonna like set up my camera and show you me like cleaning everything because I have a feeling it's just gonna be in bits and spurts today. Um, these are the nightstands that I want to get rid of. Um, they came with our house. I chalk painted them years ago. Um, and yeah, I don't know, but we, I just want to use the other ones. This headboard was actually free, um, and we have never raised it up. Like it bugs me because it's low. We just have not raised it up when we switched, um, our rooms around. Our room was originally in the homeschool room. Um, but my father-in-law wants to get rid of his headboard, and his headboard's really nice. Um, this one was actually, like I said, it was free. It was um, this honey oak color, and I just chalk painted it white. Um, my father-in-law's headboard is square, and it's really nice. It's white. It's gorgeous. And it'll go with our nightstand tables, too. So, anyways, I need to get working in here. Okay, so I have been cleaning my room, and I put on this video from Janine with Along with the Youngs. That's her channel name. This is 
for Cutie Pie Family. Um, and she did this video of favorite Canadian YouTubers. And I was like, oh, Canadian YouTubers. I need to watch this and like, see, y'all, she mentioned me. And she said the most kind things that I just, it gave me tears. Oh, hello, son. Um... And so I just wanted to tell you about her channel. I have followed Janine for the past couple of years. Um, she did her whole home KonMari style, like long, like years before, um, you know, Marie Kondo was on TV. Um, and she, her home is so nice. She's so well organized, so thoughtful, and she has some amazing, amazing videos. Um, she does like her gift guides are always really, really thoughtful and good. Um, she is here in Canada. She does favorites and she does organizing videos and oh my gosh, like her channel, I have often recommended her because she just has such quality videos. She has beautiful music. She's so motivating. Um, she's actually a certified like I think it's a Marie Kondo or KonMari consultant. Um, she has her own website and I think she's still doing her consulting. Um, but I will leave a link to her channel in the description box. She's wonderful and it just meant a lot to me. And actually, I was watching one video. Her daughter, her daughter is, let me see if I can find it. Her daughter's young and she just started a new channel. Where did that? video go. Oh, this one. Um, her daughter started a channel. Okay, so this is her daughter's channel. Her daughter, oh my god, like it's like how cute is that profile picture? Um, her daughter started this toy channel and Aubrey loves toy channels and I said this is one that you can watch because I know her mommy and I know that this is going to be good like some toy channels are a little sketchy and questionable and I don't like the idea of just like pushing 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 like toys at kids um but Aubrey loves this stuff and um I just know that Janine will have like not questionable content on here. So I wanted to point this out. So if you have young daughters or young kiddos, like her sons are on here too. Um, you know, there you go. Dolly Diva Toys and Fun. Okay, so I have got these low carb like keto um, buns that I'm gonna put in the oven. Let me know if you'd want a recipe on this. These are really good. Um, it's a garlic Parmesan kind of bun. I've got my meatballs all done and then you just put sauce on them and mozzarella cheese for the last 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven and get started on the dishes. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have all these eggshells here, um, I rinsed these out and then I... Um, put them in my garden. When I plant my tomatoes, I crush them all up and I put banana peel and this inside and it really helps. And So I wanted to show you how I store my eggshells. Um, I just stick them in a freezer bag and keep them in the freezer. And let me tell you, it is really fun to go along and just crunch up all these shells. Okay, so I have the new nightstands in place. I have the bedspread on. Um, <laughs> And this is everything that was in Shane's nightstand. So I'm going to spend the next little while getting this all cleaned off, making piles of papers and dealing with all of his stuff. Um, he left for Southern Ontario. He called shortly after leaving to say that there was, um, the highway was closed. Um, there had been um, a car fire and the police said it would be like six to eight hours. So likely that means... Um, someone passed away. So the way the highway works is there's 
two lanes that go south and two lanes that go north and in between is like like rocks like um mountains kind of thing you can't get to the other side basically so there was luckily a detour where we are um is quite rural and there's just not a lot around the highway um so anyways he is hoping that he'd be able to do the whole detour thing and yeah so anyways the kids are in bed um i've cleaned up the kitchen i brought my plants in from outside because it did frost last night um and i'm hoping that they're gonna be okay i'm gonna work on this mess and um i'll show it to you in another vlog because it's just too much <laughs> for tonight um but anyways thank you guys for hanging out with me i know it's been a while since i've vlogged i'm a little like off my rocker a little bit um but i appreciate your patience as i kind of swing back into sharing and whatnot so anyways i will see you guys in my next video hope you have a good day and i'll talk to you soon